Hey guys, welcome back. Nebula Games here. Um, today we would like to go over um, classes and parenting classes to be more specific and how that helps you uh, make your game a little bit more efficient. So before we begin, I just want to let you know that there will be no coding in this tutorial. There will just be straight up discussion and that's it. And we'll try to keep this as brief as possible. Well, what is the concept of classes and parenting classes in general? Well, think about it this way. Think about the class, the parenting class as a cookie cutter. You want to share certain features. You don't want to have to duplicate code every single time. So you can have certain features like in the one class and then have that class kind of extend out to build out um, features that are used by other, by other processes. Take, for example, the Super Mario Brothers game. Mario is the hero, and it's then me, Mario has Mario. enemies. The enemies can be the Goombas, the Koopas, the Chain Chomps, Koopalings, King Koopa, Bullet Bill, and many more. Well, how does this apply to the parenting? Well, think of parenting as a parent and a child. A parent will have features that are shared down to the child, but then there are features that the child might have that the parent might not have. Take, for instance, if, a child, if a, both parents have blue eyes, the child more than likely will have blue eyes. If a child has dimples, there are some odds that the parent will not have dimples. It could be, come from the grandparent. So information like that. Um, so how does that make sense in, in this world? Well, let's go back to the Mario example. If you take the enemies of Mario, the enemies can be unique. They can have different meshes or different coating. Think of the Goombas, like a regular Goomba versus a Power Goomba or Super Goomba, the Goomba with wings, in other words. Or the Koopas, or the Koopas that have wings, those are the turtle things, as you can, you can see it on screen. Or the Piranhas that don't have the Fireball versus the ones that do. More and, and information like that. So, what makes this, what makes a parent class? Parent class, you would have all the features that are shared within all the enemies, regardless of what they are. So, you can have, for example, that every enemy has to have health every enemy has to hurt the hero every enemy has to be hurt by the hero and then you can ask certain questions like can this particular enemy jump yes or no so things like that so if the if the enemy parent class has all these features what will the child class have well the child class would inherit all the parent class features and then have some unique features of itself like for example if a piranha plant can shoot a fireball or not so that would be an example of a child class distinguish distinguishing feature i guess okay so to give you a little bit more example we could have the goomba as you can see on screen um the goomba might have a health of 100 if they touch the enemy they do him 50 points damage if they get stunned by the enemy they die projectile kills from mario kills them immediately and they can't jump however if you look at the example of the para goomba or the super goomba he would have 200 points of health because he has the wings so if you stomp on him he would have to lose the wings and become a regular goomba and then when you stomp on him again he then dies or if they get hit by mario's fireball they die immediately and these actually particular Goombas can actually jump or hop or float or however you want to look at it. And the same concept applies to the Koopa. They all have health and they can get damaged by Mario if he stomps on them versus if he shoots them with a fireball. But then you could have distinguishing features such as the first stomp will make them go into a shell. Second stomp will then make them roll away and die or if they land, stop, they come back to life or whatever. And the thing is, you could have them have different colors, and by the colored notation on the, of the mesh, you could give them either, say, in red could have more health, and green could have, like, the minimum amount of health allowed for a Koopa. So that way you can have variety in your game, but having these kind of same enemy, but just kind of giving them a little bit of variety. Same thing with the part with the piranhas, like I mentioned earlier. You could have the one that doesn't... Um, you know, uh, by uh, for shoot fireballs, and then you have the one that shoots fireball, and then the piranhas you cannot stomp on them, otherwise they will hurt you as Mario, and or you have to hit them with a projectile. However, before you start thinking parenting classes can only apply to enemies, think about again in Mario where you can apply another concept of the parenting. You could have the blocks, you could have the regular blocks, the regular blocks could contain a coin, they could have 10 coins. 
the question block the question block will contain firepower or the flower or star and then the pow block the pow block that actually damages every enemy that is around it so how would you group this into a parenting versus child class well the parenting class would have the block as a block as a regular block as a regular square and you could have the mesh on it and then it could ask questions so does it contain an object and what type of object does it contain and then how much of that particular object is within that block and then what is the effect on the environment of that block and if you go down to the regular blocks you could have the coin you could have the regular block say have nothing or you could have it contain an item it could contain a coin it could contain one coin or it could contain 10 coins and then you know you could do the logic that if you hit it more than for less than two seconds and then wait a second and then hit it again you only get one coin left so kind of like an automatic deduction that's just extra logic that you can do on your own time um, and then you can have the power block it has no objects however it, the effects it has on the environment is it makes all the enemies within a certain length of the screen take certain damage it could be you could they could take 50 points damage versus just killing them off so you kind of get the idea of why this is going to be effective because what happens is you end up having this similar code that you could have had to recreate every time you create a class type however if you create a parent class you could house 90 percent of the code which is going to be duplicated anyway and just kind of repeat the unique features that you want for each individual type of enemy and then you could just duplicate that enemy i hope that makes sense i hope you find that useful if you did please hit the like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you again next week have a good day. Bye.